They have really long and strong tails. They use their tails to swing from tree to tree. They like to eat insects from each other's bodies. In this episode of Creatures Teach Us, we're talking about macaques. Macaques are really cheeky. They stole an apple from my bag once. I saw them fighting over my auntie's water bottle. Macaques are a type of monkeys. <laughs> the ones in Singapore are called long-tailed macaques. They are sometimes called crab-eating macaques too. There are 334 species of monkeys in the world. And they are separated into old war monkeys and new war monkeys. That's because of where the monkeys live. New World Monkeys live in Central and South America. And Old Road Monkeys live in Africa and Asia. So, Singapore's long tail macaques are Old World Monkeys. About 1,500 of them live in Singapore. And they mostly live in our nature reserves and parks. They are quite small, going to only 10 kilos and 55 centimeters tall at the most. That's smaller than a baby. But macaque's tail makes it much longer than a baby. Their tails are often longer than their bodies. They use it to help them balance when they are jumping from tree to trees or walking on branches high up in the sky. They can jump as far as 5 meters away. That's about as long as a car. Can I jump that far? Macaques are very clever with their hands. And many of them are right-handed like humans. They have been seen fishing with their bare hands. They even use our hair as dental floss. That's because macaques use their intelligence to help them be highly adaptable animals. That means they can very quickly adjust to different types of living environments. The Bible says, The advantage of knowledge is this, Wisdom preserves those who have it. Macaques can survive in many different places because they are wise enough to learn how to. There are desert macaques and even macaques who live in the snow. The snow monkeys! Mmm, they look so warm and comfortable. Long-tailed macaques usually live in rainforests or jungles. But they also love living near humans. So they can swim in pools. Because they can easily steal food. They're not fuzzy about the type of food they eat. They will eat fruit, seeds, flowers, crab, and even insects. Like the ones they pick from each other's bodies. Sometimes to make humans for food too. Or snatch them from their hands. That's why my mom says we shouldn't feed them or let them see we have food. They will even go into houses to look for food. That's scary. But really clever too! Clever and adaptable! My dad says being clever is good, but being wise is better. It means using our intelligence to do sensible things. Like when I'm trying to build a Lego car, but it doesn't work, I can try a different way instead of getting angry. Or not listening to our friends when they tell us to do something naughty. Asking our parents for help when things are too difficult is why still. When the cats are humans, we can all use our cleverness wisely. What wise choices will you make today?